Hey everyone, just uh, giving a bit of a PRISM development update on a new feature that's coming to PRISM uh, in the next update, which will be PRISM Volumes. As you can see, I've got uh, the script here. This editor GUI is still kind of work in progress, so don't pay too much attention to this. It may look different in the final release. Uh, but essentially it's a post-process volume. Uh, so it means that you can very easily just create a game object, add this prism volume component to it, and any time that your target camera, with obviously the prism effect script, moves on to this game object or moves within range of the volume, uh, prism will start to lerp towards your volume preset. So it can be really useful, say, uh, in Witcher 3 uses it whenever Geralt goes down a well, for example. They have a different uh, post-processing preset for those sort of cavey dark areas, and it has a different look-up texture, stuff like that. Anyways, let's get into the details a little bit on the prism volume. So right now we have sphere, square, and collider volume shapes. Uh, at the moment, only sphere works, so I've haven't worked on Square or Collider yet, but it shouldn't be too hard. Let me know if you think you actually need Square or Collider volume shapes, because, I mean, you may not. Uh, volume preset. This is the preset that essentially is going to be active whenever the camera is in this area. All right, so, so we can see this is the area that triggers the volume. That, that yeah, this, this preset will be active in. Target camera, we're just using the main camera. It's got Prism on it. Uh, instant switch, we don't want to instant switch. Uh, we want to switch to this preset over one seconds. And Prism volume also has a tether. Uh, so that means that uh, once you enter the Prism volume, you can't just like glitch out of it after moving half a meter like backwards, for example, because the tether activates. Anyways, we've gone ahead and set this up. Uh, and also, with the prism volume set up, you pretty much always need to have one on your main camera as well. And what this volume does is it it's sort of like a... Um, uh, it's like the control volume, right? So so this is the same preset that's, that's in your normal prism effect script. And this kind of controls what happens whenever you exit any other volume. And it also, yeah, has some default values. So, uh, we can see we've set this volume up here. It's kind of at the trader shop there. Uh, it's got a range of 10. It's a sphere. So let's go ahead and head into play mode. Uh, and we should uh, kind of wander into that area and get a bit of a different effect as we do. So, as you can see in the editor GUI as well, Yellow means that we're within tether range, and as soon as that circle goes red, uh, that means that we will be inside the prism volume and start triggering it. So let's go. So there we go, just like that. We're now inside this prism volume, and we can pop out of it again, and it kind of looks better if we just like come into it a little bit more. And there we go, just like that. Easy peasy, you've got perfectly kind of differentiated areas of your scene. And you can change just about anything. Like in this one, I think uh, we've removed sharpen, we've added some more noise, we've added in a second lookup texture, which uh, obviously is that grayscale image effect that you see there. It also increased the depth of field radius. And there you go. And uh, yeah, so basically this supports anything that uh, Prism preset lerping supports, because that's the kind of back end that it uses. And overall, I think it's a really nice addition to Prism. I mean, I'm going to use this in all of my games where I have Prism, and just because it's so easy, like you can you can make areas feel different essentially for free. All you have to do is create another Prism preset, throw it in a volume, you know, I could use any of these and just drag them in there it'll work like clockwork so uh, yeah there we go uh, make sure you leave any feedback below and a like comment and subscribe to gadget games on youtube thanks